Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. It's always interesting to watch movies made years ago that depict life in the future, the future that we're living right now. Sometimes the stories get close to reality, sometimes they're centuries off. For example, in 2001, A Space Odyssey, made in 1968, director Stanley Kubrick thought we'd all be taking Pan American Airlines to the moon. Turns out that was wrong on two counts, no shuttles to the moon, and Pan Am is out of business. However, the future depicted on our next movie today isn't nearly as pleasant to think about as non-stops from Phoenix to the Shackleton Crater. The future we're about to see in the year 2022 looks awfully bleak. From 1973, the movie is Soylent Green. Story takes place in New York City, which according to the film will have a population of more than 40 million people. Charlton Heston plays a police detective in this seriously overpopulated world. And when he finds out some things he's not supposed to know, Heston is transformed from the hunter to the hunted. The cast here also features Lee Taylor Young, Joseph Cotton, and appearing in his 90th film, Edward G. Robinson. Robinson was almost totally deaf at the time he shot the movie, and he delivered his lines mostly by visual cues. Robinson died of cancer about a month after filming ended here, making this his final movie role from 1973. Here's Charlton Heston in Soylent Green. <laughs> 